Have you ever wondered what strange things happened on the International Space Station in the past? Little spoiler, it's going to be really crazy. You don't want to miss other videos about our endless universe? Then like this video and follow this account for more. First of all, the International Space Station is the largest modular space station in the low Earth orbit. The project involves five space agencies, the United States NASA, Russia's Roscosmos, Japan's JAXA, the European Space Agency and the Canada Space Agency. The ISS is 94 meters long and 73 meters wide so it has round about the size of a soccer field. This giant is orbiting Earth with an average altitude of 400 kilometers. However, in the past happened a lot of crazy things on the International Space Station. The gorilla on board the ISS. The International Space Station absolutely does not have a werewolf problem, but it may have a minor gorilla issue. In 2016, the NASA astronaut Scott Kelly transformed from a regular human into a hairy beast and chased another astronaut down a hallway on the ISS. The footage starts off like a short documentary showing a crew member loading a bag from a resupply ship into a laboratory. Then out pops Kelly in an ape suit and a floating chase ensues. Kelly's retired astronaut twin brother Mark Kelly pulled some strings at NASA to have the suit sent up into space as part of a care package. Kelly was nearing the end of a year-long stay on the ISS and has been particularly active on social media. In one of his last weeks, he shared a series of eye-catching photos of Earth. He has also tended zinnia plants, watched the Super Bowl from afar, and played ping-pong with water. After Kelly's guerrilla attack, he twittered, Needed a little humor to lighten up a year in space. Go big or go home. I think I'll do both. Pizza delivery to the International Space Station. In 2001, the fast food chain Pizza Hut became the first company to deliver pizza to outer space when it made a delivery to the International Space Station. They also added a 9-meter tall Pizza Hut logo onto the rocket. Though the delivery was an obvious publicity stunt by Pizza Hut, one that cost them over $1 million, it still required a ton of special planning to pull off. For example, the pizza was seasoned with extra spices, especially salt, since it's known that taste buds become a little dulled in space. Yuri Yusakov, a cosmonaut and commander of the station was the first to have the honors. Movie Night on the International Space Station NASA astronaut Joe Akaba posted this image showing the crew relaxing together while watching a movie. According to him, I can't think of a better movie theater to watch Star Wars than on the space station. A major movie to film on the ISS. Filming is underway on the first feature-length movie to be shot in space after Russian actor Julia Sherpiled and director Klim Shipenko docked at the International Space Station. Their movie, The Challenge, will feature around 35 to 40 minutes of scenes filmed on the space station. The film is about a surgeon who goes on an emergency ISS mission to save the life of a cosmonaut. Julia Persiled and Klim Shipenko spent 12 days on board the International Space Station. Other projects have been filmed on the ISS, including documentary, virtual reality projects, and a short called Apogee of Fear. And even Tom Cruise plans to film a movie in space. He could be the first civilian to do a spacewalk. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine took to Twitter to confirm that the space agency will be working with Tom Cruise to create the first narrative feature film shot in outer space. As one of the most well-known people on the planet, the 56-year-old star is an obvious choice for this project, not only for his box office credentials and viewing audience appeal, but for his flight credentials too. In 1986, Cruise got his commercial piloting license as part of his filming for the hit movie Top Gun making him more qualified than most megastars to be the first to film in space. Tom Cruise has the credentials and the ability to film in space. Cruise won't shoot the entire film on the ISS. The chunk of the action sees him do his usual stuff on planet Earth, while the third act forces his character to board a rocket for the ISS so he will be able to save the world. A bagpipes concert on the ISS. In 2015, NASA astronaut Kjell Lindgren played Adama's in Grace on a set of bagpipes in tribute to research scientist Victor Hurst, who had passed away. But just watch. and other musical instruments. The astronauts on the International Space Station are a talented bunch and over the years have played a varied musical ensemble including a guitar, flute, piccolo, keyboard, alto saxophone, koto, and even a didgeridoo. An espresso machine. 
In 2015, astronauts got a chance to brew a real cup of coffee from an espresso machine dubbed the ISS Presso, designed by the Italian companies Lavazza and Argotech. The machine was delivered to the International Space Station and Italian astronaut Samantha Cristoforetti was the first to take a sip, becoming the first astronaut in history to drink an espresso coffee in space. Christmas Decorations Because the International Space Station has been continuously occupied since 2000, every Christmas since then has been celebrated by a crew of astronauts and cosmonauts in Earth orbit. The space station has accumulated festive decorations throughout the years so that crews can deck the halls with a miniature Christmas tree, stockings, and Santa hats. Toys and Teddy Bears Tremor, Earthy, Miss Mouse, Smokey, and Buzz Lightyear are some of the toys and teddies that have earned their space wings. Tremor, a sequined dinosaur, arrived in 2020 aboard SpaceX's Dragon. While soft toys in space are a fun way of getting young children interested in spaceflight, they also provide an important function as they are hung inside launch capsules to let astronauts know when they have reached zero gravity. A LEGO model of the International Space Station It doesn't get much cooler than building a LEGO model of the International Space Station while orbiting Earth on board the International Space Station. That's exactly what Japanese astronaut Satoshi Furukawa did during his stay on the ISS in 2012. Apparently, it took Furukawa two hours to build the model, which as LEGO builders will know is no mean feat. Remember how frustrating it is when you drop a vital piece during a build. Now imagine how it annoying it would be to have that piece simply float away out of reach. The space station may be an orbiting laboratory, but astronauts also know how to have fun. Which of these stories was your favorite and what would you do in weightlessness? Again.